Many people have been asking what the avocado animated version of Scooby-Doo actually is. And now realistically, the only person that can really answer that question is Avocado because this version of Scooby seems to be his own creation. But I do have some thoughts based on what we know about the Scooby-Doo universe thus far. Now in the animation, we see that the gang finally starts to question the fact that Scooby can actually speak. And while this may seem innocent enough, it's actually a lot darker than a lot of people expected. If you already seen the animation, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now many people, especially if they watched the MatPat video from like two years ago, where he talks about the fact that Scooby is an Anunnaki. And for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about or didn't see that video, basically Matt got this information from the Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated show, which came out back in 2010. And in the show, we learned that Scooby is basically a alien aka Anunnaki which to sum up briefly are a ancient godlike race that have no physical body so they have to possess animals in order to help humanity right and when they possess these animals they basically give them the ability to speak so put simply the reason that Scooby can speak is because somebody in his family tree was possessed by an alien years ago and passed it on to him now while that explains why he can talk it doesn't explain why in the animation he kills everybody when they find out that he can actually speak right so why does he kill all these people to protect this secret and this is my theory it is clear that there are many different versions slash universes for scooby-doo most people say that there's at least three but some people argue that there's at least 12 and in some of these universes we have actual real ghouls and monsters and even ultra instinct shaggy right whom is pretty much a god now with that knowledge, I don't think it's too far-fetched to believe that this version of Scooby is not a dog at all, but some type of powerful demon. Now I know a lot of people are arguing that he might have been like some type of angel or some type of celestial being, but I don't believe that. And it's not because angels or celestials can't be evil or bad, but simply because he fits a lot of the characteristics of powerful demons. One in particular comes to mind. And if you know anything about old German lore, then the name Mephesto probably is familiar to you. But more realistically, most of you probably recognize this name because he's also a villain in the Marvel Universe. He is an immortal demonic entity that has the power to change his shape, manipulate memories, and alter time and reality. And while he can do other things, I think it just fits perfectly with what we actually see in the animation. Because I think we all can agree that this right here is not a dog, but something that has taken on the form of a dog maybe, right? And we also see that everybody in the gang except for Vilma has lost their full memories. We see that Vilma is kind of struggling to get parts of her memory back but even hers has been altered to some degree obviously and even after Scooby kills the whole gang he is able to literally bring them back to life and also manipulate the world or the reality in which those kids live in so while Scooby may not be this demon particularly I think he is somewhat at least influenced or inspired by this demon and the powers that it has and I found it interesting that some people are arguing in the comments that this version of Scooby can't be a demon because he seems to love the gang which is true in a weird way because when you look at it he only seems to love them if everything is going the way he wants in a world that he has built for his own pleasure so once the gang starts to show any free will he kills them and starts over again and personally i don't know if you can call something love if it has to meet all these type of parameters and be perfect and be under your control right i think that's something else but definitely not love and another interesting point that I saw somebody make that actually kind of backs up the claim that Scooby is a demon is this idea of the seven deadly sins. And what they're basically claiming is that Scooby-Doo is a devil and these teens are being tempted into committing various sins. So Fred and Daphne basically equal lust, Velma equals pride and envy, Shaggy is sloth and gluttony. And then Scrappy is considered to be greed and wrath, but that one might be a little bit of a stretch depending on what version of Scrappy you're looking at. And while I don't think that this is necessarily the idea that the animator was going for, I do think it's a fairly good theory. But whatever the answer actually is, one thing I know for certain is that this three minute animation was better than the entire new season of Velma. And I don't think I'm the only one that would pay to see this animation turned into an actual series. But with that being said, let me know what your theories are down in the comments. Check out this video on the screen here and subscribe to become a member of the Orse Force. We'll see you tomorrow with another video. Peace, peace.